Right, good afternoon, Year Ones. Um, I'm going to talk you through your topic lesson for this afternoon. And it's going to be based all around hot and cold climates. Okay, so you learned about the equator yesterday, didn't you? And hopefully that you remember the closer you are to the equator, the warmer, the hotter that country or that continent is. And the further you are away from the equator, the colder that country or continent is. For example, you can see that all the green places are very, very hot. And all the pink places, they're really far away from the equator, so they're really, really cold. So, first of all, I would like you to watch this video. I have put it on um, our task page as well because I know you obviously can't click on this link. So I'd like you to watch this video first. Then you are go imagine you are going to go on holiday. Now we've not been on holiday for a very, very long time, have we? Because we've been keeping safe. But I want you to try and remember what you do when you go on holiday. Okay, what do you think? Before you go on holiday, anywhere, before you go to a warm place or a cold place, what do you need to do? You need to pack something. You need to pack a, can you say it? Suitcase. You need to pack the clothes for your holiday, don't you? So today, you're going to be visiting, very lucky, you're going to be visiting two places. You're going to be visiting a hot place and a cold place. You're going to be visiting, visiting the continent, Africa. Can you see that big arrow pointing to the yellow continent? Africa, and that's your hot place. And the other place, the cold place you are going to be visiting is the continent Antarctica. And that's right at the bottom of the world. Can you see that arrow there? You might want to point to it on the screen. So can everyone point to Africa, the hot place you are going to visit? And Antarctica, the cold place you are going to visit. Right. And what you need to do is you need to think about what you need to take on holiday. So what will you need for Africa, the hot place? And what will you need for Antarctica, the cold place? Okay, for example, do you think you need sun cream in Antarctica? No, you don't need sun cream, do you? Um, what about, do you need a big woolly coat for Africa? Do you think you need that for the hot weather, a big woolly coat? No. Uh, do you need a woolly hat for Antarctica? Yes, I think that would be very useful because otherwise you'd have a very cold head and very cold ears. And we wouldn't want that, would we? Um, what about for Africa? Do you think you need a sun hat? Yes, you do need a sun hat because that helps shade your face from the sun, doesn't it? Right, so what you need to do today is you need to open up your book and you need a double page. Can you remember what that is when we open it and we have two clean pages at the same time? So two new pages. If you're not sure, ask an adult to help you, okay? But I want you to open up to a double page. And on one side of the page, I want you to draw a suitcase, just like mine on the screen. And I want you to draw a luggage tag with a sun on it. Because does the sun represent the hot place, the hot climate, or the cold climate? It's the hot climate, it's the hot place, isn't it? Well done. And then on the other page, I want you to draw another huge suitcase. Make sure your suitcases fill the page. We don't want tiny suitcases. We won't fit all our clothes in them, will we? I want you to draw a suitcase on the other side of the page. And this suitcase has to have a luggage tag with a snowflake on. Do you think the snowflake is representing the hot place or the cold place? 
the cold place well done i hope some of you are joining in with me you can shout out the answers um through these videos because it's not like school where we have to put our hand up you can just shout them out because you're by yourselves okay so that's what i would like you to do and then in your home learning pack i will put this on the website just in case you can't find it um i would like you to cut each piece of clothing out and you either need to put it on your in your sun suitcase or your snow suitcase. So your suitcase for Africa or your suitcase for Antarctica. Okay, so that's all I want you to do today. If you have done that, there is a little art challenge if you want to do that after. Or you might want to think of your own pieces of clothing and maybe... There isn't a piece of clothing that you would like to take to the hot country continent or a, uh, to the cold continent, okay? You might have thought of something of your own and that's absolutely fine. You can draw your own pictures. So that is what I would like you to do year ones for your topic lesson. Try hard and do nice neat cu cutting, okay? Remember, take your time when you're cutting. Don't rush, okay? Thank you, bye.